So we're doing herringbone or chevron as we like to call it in <laughs> there, <laughs> but it is herringbone. And then we're doing all the regular. Mm, girl. Oh my gosh. What'd you do? I broke it off. I am so proud of this work. Excuse me, piggy. <laughs> He's so scared of me. Okay. All right, y'all, this is my mom. Say hi, mom. She's Hello. one of my actual faithful viewers. One of my <laughs> I three. am. I am. I'm loving this. I don't know about She you watches. Oh, yeah. With the rest of it, so I guess we're talking to her right now. Maybe we should put a bead of caulk here before, it before down. you put it down. Yes. Okay. Before you hear it. Well, I only have one caulk on your finger. Well, you know that I'm cleaning because I, I want to make sure I don't. Yeah caught some bits of trash in that we don't notice now, but later you're like, okay, that's stuck in there. That's so cute. <laughs> like, oh, I have to go to the store because I had to wait for Adam to get home to figure out. I didn't want to electrocute myself. And although I've seen people try Oh, back, this light right here. No, that this light. light. <laughs> this light is going to be easy. That's not going to be that Yeah, something light. that you can you can find something pretty to put right yeah. there. But I didn't know what was behind there until Evan came home, and I wanted to give him a second because right. literally spent his whole day doing this. And then I was like, hey, you know, can you help me get that off? Yeah. And it wasn't easy, but now I understand, but I needed help because I couldn't figure out how to turn off the power on that light. Like, I turned all of the sockets off, but, but it, it still wasn't, wasn't off, and I was just... Anyway, yeah, I've been there, got a husband, yeah. and plus then in situations like that when you can't figure something out, you're like, you know what, I need to just stop because if I mess something up, right, I could he's going to say, why didn't you just wait for me? Exactly, why were you in such a hurry that you just couldn't Now wait. i got to figure this out, right. you could just wait. it. <laughs> um, just lay the first tile and straighten it with a level because I can't I make a mark so. I can't I can't mark under there and even if I could mark under there I wouldn't be able to see no it. So I think you're go. right but wait aren't we just doing two vertical ones here and there I am but it's got to be straight this way I don't want it to be like that yeah yeah, yeah. no I <laughs> so see what you're saying put the level up next to it and make sure it's perfectly yeah. plumb. and we'll do the, that and that and then I'm I'm good to go start cutting yes, my and hands. once I lay these and get them straight then I'll find the center and, and do the rest of the measure make a 45 degree angle. <coughs> yeah Okay. And oh, you know what? Look what God gave us. A level. We and I have two of them. We angle on it. Yeah. All I have to do is find the center and mark like And that. I have a right angle too if you need that. Look at that. Look at that. That's Look perfect. That. That'll give us 45. Sweet. Once I decide what the middle is, which I will just. We're doing the first tile. Where is that notched trowel? I'll get it. Because this is also how you measure um, how thick how to much? put the yeah. stuff on. Yeah. They look so much larger than I expected. <coughs> okay, so I'm learning. When I do this next time, I will only put it across that side, and then I will take this trowel mm, and then and scrape, scrape it down. down. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then you have a cloth for getting extra off, because should this be wet? Yes. All right. So the first tile is going in. Yay! The first tile. All right. This is so real. now I'm pressing it, and now where's my level? Okay. I'm gonna leave you to your own devices and continue my work. Okay. Now I thought you cut on the right side of the tile so that you don't chip the finish. The wrong side of the tile. If you if you cut there, you need to put some tape here. Because when you get to the other side, it'll this will chip. You need to score this because it keeps from chipping the porcelain. Oh, you okay. know what I mean? Kind of. Well, you can try it both ways, and then you'll see what I mean. Well, I don't have to. I can believe you. So, <laughs> I don't have to you test need to do it on the right side of the I'll tile. Do exactly what you say. Okay, so draw my line then. Yes, okay, so. and that's true of wood as well. If you cut from the wrong side of the wood to the right side of the wood, the side that splinters is going to be that the side away sense. from the blade. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm processing it now. This is nerve-wracking. And you'll probably mess up a couple of them, but they're cheap. And then you'll get to figure it out. Like, like, this is At least you can buy some kind of quarter Italian tile. You know, $20 you a tile. I don't know if I 
feel like I'm doing this right in my head. That's exactly what they do. Just yeah, just score over it a bunch of times until you get a really good line in it. And then you snap it. It's not gonna cut all the way through. And you're doing it backwards. Why are you over there? This is the yeah. angle. tap it on something you put it against put it against that yes and then push down put that right like that like <gasps> okay thank you lord that worked out beautifully <laughs> just like on tv yay and okay so far so good yay I think this is gonna work yay. i am so happy with that so we're doing herringbone or chevron as we like to call it in <laughs> there it <laughs> but it is herringbone and then we're doing all the regular subway and look i did this in the corner so i started at the bottom i ended up having to cut half tiles down there and now i'm all the way to the top i'm saying now i'm all the way like it looks like oh this but anyway I'm marking on my tile here so that I can figure out how high that needs to be and then we're going to cut the rest of them. And, and notice how we had across. to plan it so that she didn't end up with a whole tile at the bottom and a tenth of a tile at the top. Yeah. So that was really important. Anything else? That's it. I just wanted to make sure people knew. Oh, it. and we've been putting thin set on each individual tile instead of on the wall and honestly it's taking longer but it's so nice because we don't have to rush so yeah you don't have really to worry good. about it drying on the wall so maybe once we get a big like once we get the corners established we might put it on the wall because you can just slap them up yeah but for but these first few it has been really nice it's been good ready. so it's going good we're excited yay <laughs> Look how beautiful this is looking. I'm so excited. I think it looks great. She's doing a great job there. And then I'm starting the bullnose ones on the side right here. And we're about to go around these sockets, which is why we just got the, what are they called? Masonry bits? Masonry. Well, these are glass and tile bits. But glass and tile bits. But they're also called masonry bits. Mas masonry bits. So that I can do that. So I guess I will film that process because it's going to be difficult. Here we go. So I'm marking where the socket is gonna go with the pencil and I've taped over it. And then I'm gonna do the drill part, which is very nerve wracking. Okay. You're gonna you put a piece of cushy to towel under this for lots of reasons. Yes. And you need tape all along this whole expanse. Okay. Okay. And then, okay, so I am nervous. This, this makes me nervous. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna dr drill your first thing more, more into the wasted space, but in that corner. It's here, right? Mm -hmm. And just press down and drill. That press down is the Don't go into your table. Part. I mean, how, how? Keep going, you're making a hole all the way through. Oh! Yes. <laughs> This is not an indentation. This is a hole. It's making a little dent. No, you're making a hole. Oh my gosh, that's enough. You really need to press down. This is dangerous. Okay, stop. I'm seeing orange. Does that mean you've gotten into the... Okay. No. <laughs> this is turning orange. Okay, is this is the back of the tile. Orange. This is the back of the tile. It's the color of the stuff on the back of the tile. That. This is scary. These tools could kill you. <laughs> I'm serious. You can like, spray that with water too if you want. Sometimes I like a, I've done stuff where I sprayed it with a water gun because I, I didn't have the fancy. Bottle, I didn't have the fancy tools, so that, I just sprayed it with a water bottle. I guess water. Mm -hmm. It'll help keep it cool. Yeah, I could start a fire. It's not, it's not flammable, please. <laughs> Listen to how much I know. I could start a fire. It'll just help keep it cool so it doesn't melt something or whatever, but it won't start a fire. Nothing there is flammable. Well, I guess the tape, maybe. <laughs> this is flammable. I think you would stop before the cloth are on fire. There we go. 
Yeah. Good thing I did that. Mm -hmm. We're about to kill the table. I think I still did. Oh, my poor table. Sorry. I'm sorry. How do we get out? Drill, hold, spin it, then uh, it, and pull it out at the same time. Spin it. No, turn it on. Turn the drill on, but pull on it at the same way. time. There we go. Okay. Now you're going to do a series of those all the way down that line. Do and they all, the all have to go all the way through? Mm -hmm. They should. Mm okay. I just need to calm down. I'm, I'm not about to die. This is fine. I don't know why this makes me nervous. I think it's just I can feel the danger. It's just the same reason I don't want to use guns. But that's a whole lot safer than a gun. Is it? Nice long strokes and do it instead of stopping and starting and stopping and starting. Okay, well, let me try to get this thing out. Okay, here it is. Put that in the trash just so it doesn't end up in somebody's foot. I'm so sorry. I didn't, okay. I didn't even know that could happen. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. This will be a little sturdier anyway because it's bigger. See how it slips? <laughs> Already, it took you a third of my time. <laughs> You can start on the outside and work your way in. <gasps> you know Guess what I would do now? Just put the two pieces on the wall like that. <laughs> it broke again. Okay. Are you saying just ignore it or? Mm -hmm. Just cut this one out and then okay. just put the two pieces on the wall. <coughs> Sounds good. Because I'm. Well, I'm just done. Yes, we give it. <laughs> Here's our little favorite piece in the world. So for the other ones, what did I decide that we're just going to cut them? I'm sorry, say that again. We'll see. We'll see when I get to another socket what I'm going to do. But I was trying to oh, figure out Oh, make two what... cuts? Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go. Because it's so... Just cut a, two straight pieces. Cut all the way straight through here and then cut another skinny piece. Yeah. It goes across there. This is annoying. I think you should make two straight cuts. On here? Like do a new one? What are you saying? That's what I was saying, but I don't know if I mean it. It's not, because the other one. thing is going to cover part of it too. I oh there, look okay. at that. I don't know what I did, but it made, yeah, it just made the line go away. Jimmy rigging. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, Piggy. <laughs> He's so scared of me. never heard him make that noise. Have you ever tripped over him? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, Are we should have a few close encounters, but nothing that I thought would kind hurt of awkward him. interactions. But it's usually his fault. He's coming under me. I just am trying to figure out why he thinks that you are going to do something. Because he screams every time he gets close to you. Ah! <laughs> but you let me pet him a few times so I yeah I don't know what it is it's like he thinks you're approaching and you're about to and that, <laughs> fill in the blank but I don't know what that blank I've is I've never hit him, kicked him, disciplined him so you guys you haven't seen my face in a while so I figured I'd film this way it looks so good right now my mom just left she is the best partner you could ever hope for literally she's been fantastic so helpful. Look at her work, you guys. Tripping, hang on. Look at her work. Is that amazing or is that amazing? <laughs> this is helping so much. It looks so much better. And then I've been doing this simple stuff. I can trust myself with the simple stuff. And it's been it's been fun. 
I'm really happy about it. So I wanted to show you this part of what I'm doing, this, this part right here, because I think that it's just going to be interesting to watch. Oh, by the way, there's the bullnose tiles. I think I mentioned that briefly on the side. Kind of trying to jimmy rig this to get it right has been an adventure. But I think once everything is in there and up, it'll look fine. So let's do this. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just wanted to give you an update. You know what? I, I don't think I have to hold this. You can probably sit down. And by the way, I got a brand new plant that I'm really excited about. I have no idea how to care for this sweet thing. Um, my pig ate half my directions, and he's a little moody right now. So give, give me a minute. Hang on. All right, so morning update. Uh, this morning I woke up and I was exhausted, so I was kind of in a hurry to get ready, which is really not a good thing if you've turned things off and been messing with your breaker in any way, because I woke up to, again, no hot water. And what I thought I did last night when Evan told me the, that the shower was cold was turn it back on, but actually no. I only turned on the stove and so I figured out which switch goes to the hot water heater and I turned that on. I ended up using my coffee maker and the stove which is like totally out of the wall um, to heat up some water and mix that with cold water so that I could shave. Thankfully I did take a shower last night so that I could wash my face so that I could kind of do my hair if that's what you want to call this um it was just funny and I was almost late but I was on time to church uh but today is like a really big day for me in life in general because it's New Year's Eve and I got saved on New Year's Eve and so you can't ruin this day for me <laughs> like literally this is that was the best day of my life ever and I'm so thankful to know Jesus. I'm so thankful for the life that I lead in him now. I'm so thankful. I'm going to make another video about my testimony. But um, I'm really grateful for him and for everything that he's done in my life. And so today is also the day that I am planning to finish the tile. And I'm really excited about that. I am ready to get this done. My mom is coming over today at noon to help me do the rest of the chevron and I'm going to try to do all the rest of the prep without her like before she gets here so I've got I've got an hour and I really need to eat some lunch so let's get started this is what we've done so far I am so proud of this work. I tried to lay the border over there and I actually put it in with the wrong tiles. And right before I went to bed, thank you God, I realized it was wrong. So I just took that out. This is where I meant when I said the stove is out. Ugh. But yeah, it looks so good. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle that and that before she comes. Mm -hmm. 